Thank you so much. Super excited because today we have Porcelain in the building. She's a billboard chart topping artist, singer, songwriter, and producer, super talented. And she's about to drop her debut album titled Mood Ring. So stay tuned because she's going to be in very soon. Hello. Hi, beautiful. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm good. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm glad to, uh, to be here. I'm happy to be here. I'm excited. We're glad to have you. So I'm Francesca Lana. Welcome to Pop Fusion, the talk show. <laughs> Where are you, by the way? Where are you located? Uh, I'm in Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee right now. Nice. So you guys are still in quarantine, right? To get home order? Um, we're like around 25% now. So we're not, everything isn't closed, but it's still not like everybody's walking in everywhere. So you still kind of have the people getting things delivered to their car kind of situation. Um, so we had 25%. We're like the first phase. And then the next phase is things will open up a little bit more. And then um, things will be all the way open. Probably at the end of this month or maybe like in the in mid next month. Okay. Gosh, so what have you been doing to keep yourself busy and keeping yourself sane during these times? I know... It can be hard, especially someone who is crazy as you are. Um, actually, to be honest, I have been writing more, and it's given me the opportunity to really focus more in on just really getting my skills, keeping my chops up, and and write. I'm, I actually wrote, written some new songs that I want to be a part of my new album, and you know it's. Honestly, that's how I stay sane. You know, being able to create that. If I wasn't doing music, ooh, I, oh, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But music is a release for me, and I write, and I work out, and I meditate, and do my yoga stuff. And, and then I like cooking. Like, I picked up so many new, like, um, recipes and things like that during this time, because it's like, what else? What are you going to do? Like, yeah. You know, to cook those dishes and and then you know I know how to cook them real fast now I'll be able to prep them and yeah. so I've taken that time to really learn and focus on those doing those things yes girl I love it cooking but the food is super good <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah definitely Memphis man I leave Memphis and then I'm I need I'm like I gotta go back we gotta go <laughs> we gotta go I had enough of this, especially like when I'm in LA. I love LA, I love New York, but it's certain things that I like to eat in those places. And when I'm home, I, and then the things that I like to eat there, they don't necessarily have, like if I want like my sweet tea, and this places in LA just got sweet tea, but I don't really think they just, they're not like super big on sweet tea, and New York isn't either, so I'd be like, y'all don't, y'all don't get us. <laughs> Sweet tea? Oh, mm -mm. and then I, you know my barbecue. I gotta have it. So, um. girl, all that. I just gained like ten pounds talking to you about that. Now I'm from Virginia, so I love sweet tea. Love everything. Girl, <laughs> everything. Okay. <laughs> right. They say you don't need no sweet tea. You don't need that sugar. <laughs> gotta make it right. Oh, that's that's super dope. Um, well, Pop Fusion, we celebrate celebrities for using their platform to give back to the community. So I just recently saw your club, your virtual event that you had. What inspired you to do that? Well, it was the collaboration with, I mean, YouTube. It went really, really well. Yeah. Uh, I was the first independent artist to do it. So they wanted somebody to test out. They wanted an independent artist to test out some features for them and this um, innovative technology that they're working on to help independent artists make more money during this time. Mm -hmm. So I was like, yeah. They was like, well, we have like three days. I'm like, so sick. <laughs> I'm sitting there, I'm like, okay, what is it gonna be? It's gonna be a club mood. It's gonna... So I had to put it together really quickly, but it was just a great overall experience because it wasn't any expectations. And when you're working with a company that's on that big of a platform, there's always certain like guidelines you kind of have to go by. It has to be this way. Screen has to be like this. Sound has to be like that. But I was really able to build it the way I wanted to. 
I was able to create something. And it was like, I was like, so what do, what do I need to do? What are, what are the specs? They was like, do what you want to do. <laughs> and do how, engage with your fans how you want to. And, and that's what I did. And it, it, it turned out so good. And it was just the way I wanted it. And it wasn't any pressure because I didn't have to meet any, any type of weird expectations of someone else. It was just like, you're an independent artist, do your thing. And then, you know, it was great because artists, I mean, like a, a artists like me being independent, doing a show and people being able to donate while you're performing, it's really great features that they have, like that people send their stickers and then the sticker has like a little money amount on it. And it's, it just feels good to see people enjoy what you're doing and then they can donate because artists, like you know, we're not doing shows, we're not you know, selling tickets right now. So it's just really great. It's probably not as much as it would be if you sold tickets or did a show, but you know, anything helps. And I was just happy to test out something for independent artists. So that was dope. That's super dope. I mean, to me, it felt like a real live concert. Like, were you on a stage? Look, like you were on a stage and- No, I, um, I was in the studio. I was in the studio. Oh, okay. <laughs> Well, that was a nice studio, girl. <laughs> Look, I, I picked, I said, we need this room. I need these lights. I need smoke. I, need... <laughs> I was like, give me smoke spray. <laughs> Everything. Now, that's super awesome. So um, tell us about your album coming out. It's your debut album. It's called Mood Ring. Um, seems like it's going to be a super amazing project. What's the theme behind it? Or what, what was your inspiration behind the album? Well, with Mood Ring, it's, it's pretty much like different moods. You know, when you go through a relationship, you have the high moments, you have the low moments. Things aren't always great. And, and some th some, at some moments, things are amazing. Some, they're not. And I kind of want to take people like on a journey with the, with the vibe of the project and, and just go through the motions and the experiences inside of a relationship. And that's that's not just for women, it's, you know, it's, it's for everybody because I'm not very, I don't do every song to where it's like, boy, 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 you know, very, yeah. very specific because I want people to be able to sing it, men to be able to say it to their girl and their girls be able to sing it to them. And I just kind of wanted to share like overall a cohesive body of work that's like every phase of a relationship. So you go through that phase where you're like, dang, you know, I would, I'm so happy to be with you. And then you might go through the phase where you're like, dang, why are you switching up on me? I thought everything was good. I thought I thought it was going well, but you're changing on me. And you know, right. you had a moment where you like, I sacrificed everything and now you're doing me grimy. So I have like all of those. And it's so crazy how it came together because it, it wasn't like, I knew it was going to be that way. I just started writing songs. And I'm like, why don't my songs sound like they go, <laughs> they go together? Like, I'm super in love on this one. Then I'm tearing up his clothes on the next one. That's <laughs> then I'm crying on the next one. I say, you know what? I'm going to call this mood ring. And it's just, and ever since then, it's just every, like every part of the project is like just flowing together. And I said, you know what? It, it's it must be meant to be because I definitely go through different moods for sure. <laughs> I think yeah. we all of yeah. us. Yeah. I mean, it yeah. sounds like a diary. Mm -hmm. it sounds almost like a relationship diary. Yeah. Like it definitely is because when I started writing, I just noticed like the songs were just, they were all like stories, relatable stories, but they were all like, in an order so it was like i had the song where i'm singing about oh i want to i want you to love me like the girls in the movies i want that love like the like the, the romance in the movies because we still look at the movies and be like oh man he he loved <laughs> he, loved. <laughs> he would do anything for her <laughs> right i wish i had that <laughs> and then you know i had um it was another record that I have actually that I'm putting on the project and it was like switch it was, it was called it's called switch up and it's basically about like you know I'm trying to stay positive about you know be staying confident that the love we have is still there but 
you acting a little bit different. You know, you don't call me like you used to. And I'm trying not to be negative. You know, I'm, I'm trying not to be extra. <laughs> but, you know, you got me feeling like you don't, you don't want to be with me no more. <laughs> right. And because we go through that. And then, you know, the, the record that I have out right now is called Act Out. Yes, the music video was great like that was a thank great you movie. thank you i'm glad you like it your hair everything like not many women can rock short hair and girl you rocked it and you are still rocking it so you know i was so nervous about it just because it's crazy that women can't it's like the things i have gone through since i've had my hair short it's just crazy because i don't know if it's intimidating or something when it comes to with men but for me, a woman with low hair, I mean, I'm like, okay, she's strong. That's strength. That's confidence. You Bold know, and, too. Yeah, and it, it's, I didn't, I thought it was just a hairstyle, you know, <laughs> but apparently I'm making a statement that I didn't know I was making. And I'm like, you know what? And it's like, you know, you, you should, um, you should wear your hair longer. And, you know, why you got that? Why your hair low? Why don't you grow it out? Grow it out into a... Like, it's crazy. I have I have had more men comment on my hair. Women always be like, oh, your hair cute. I love the hair color. Oh, it's cute. You rocking it. And then the men are like, why did you cut all your hair off? You know, it, it's, it's just crazy. So in the video... You know, I really wanted to just kind of show that phase, like, transforming into someone else, like, transforming into a stronger person, a new person, because in the video, I cut my, I ha it was a lace front. They thought it was my hair. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's how it looks good. Art and everything, girl. I, thought I was cutting that wig. <laughs> they you was like, why you cut that? I, I can't, what did you say? Oh, no, so sorry. Sorry, guys. It's, yeah, it's doing like a little bit, just a little bit of like breaking up a little bit. I'm so sorry. Okay. Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. Um, yeah, I feel like it was amazing because like seeing you like actually chop your hair off and go <laughs> transformation was super awesome. I felt like it was like empowering. You were like, forget him, forget this, forget the old me. I'm about to be like, yeah. <laughs> Like it was, it was super awesome. Weren't you inspired? Was the um the music video was it inspired by a movie or any type? Um, of it, it was. Uh, it was actually inspired by um, a thin line between love and hate. Yes, exactly. That's the whole vibe. Yeah, I knew it. I, saw, yeah. I I just couldn't put my finger on it, but it seemed like something that I had seen not not seen before, but like an it was an inspiration behind it. So right, like, right. And I was, you know what? And I didn't know if people because I know I'm in more of like the dealing with like a lot of millennials. I'm kind of growing up in that time. So I was like, you know what? I'm gonna pay homage to Thin Line Between Love and Hate, that you know, the nineties movie, and maybe introduce it to some people who some younger people who haven't seen it, you know, because I feel like the 90s movies are the best movies, especially how they depict just how relatable they are when it comes to black love and the, and the things that black women went through during that time. Because then you have movies like, you know, Waiting to Excel, you have, you know, your boomerang, all those movies. It's like, I said, man, then I'm between love. Hey, because she, I started out and I was all polished and. <laughs> my little hair behind my ear. No, look, I'm waiting on my man to come, come to you know the for my birthday. birthday, and then he show up, and then I <laughs> and that's look good too. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Look, I lost it. I'm like, oh, you, oh, you trying to, you cheating? Okay, <laughs> right. Oh, you say, oh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Well, that project was great. Um, I know that also you're, you're a singer, songwriter, and producer. So producer, as far as like you make beats? Um, I don't make the beats, but okay. I am very much in tune and a part of the process. So okay. I'm there. I know what I'm hearing. I know what they need to take out. I know what I want to add. And I, and my instrumentation is, is not great, but when you're working with people who, understand i'm like i need a little doo -doo -doo. like at the, at the top can you put that there and they're like oh you talking about this and yeah yeah. Like, yeah that like you and don't know 
the sounds, but you get like what would make it sound better. Right, wow. exactly. Or just like if I hear like a breakdown on a certain part, or I want it, I want something lifted, a certain instrument lifted, or something like that. I just I, I try to be a part of the process as much as I possibly can because I feel like as an artist, it's your vision. You have to feel it when you go out and perform, and people have to believe you. And if I'm singing something that doesn't convict my spirit, then I'm just singing and it's not connecting with people. So I try to definitely be involved as much as possible. And that's awesome. That's really great that you're involved in all aspects of the project. I feel like right, it makes it more authentic. It, it's it's you, it's creative, like you're being a part of everything. So yeah, kudos to you for that. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And as far as your song, um, you are on Billboard. One of your songs Billboard top was it top fourteen? Um, yeah, it was um, Billboard. It was Urban AC, Billboard Charts. It was number 12. That's great. Congrats on that. Thank that you. That many spins to where you're on Billboard. Like, what inspiration would you give to, like, newcomers in the game who are trying to get that many spins on their record? I would say, you know, mainly it's about finding people who really believe in you. I think that that's important because some people they may see hey i can make some quick money off of this person or they may only want to work with you if you're paying them or you know providing them something paying for a service but you really need people on your team who truly believe that you have what it takes when you can when you can build that team and building that team you have to be consistent you have to be consistent constantly put yourself out there you know always you know, go the extra mile, do what you need to do, because when you're, you never know, and I say this a lot to people, it's people look at how many people follow them and how many people are watching, but it's not about how many, it's about who the people are that are watching you, because it may be 15, but if it's 15 of the right people, then that's all that matters, and like, I'm always like, letting people know hey just stay consistent keep working keep building stay focused uh, manifest positivity you know do not let that don't suck your, don't get sucked into all that the doubt you know the, the things that people say in the negative energy they put out there because when you when you take that in and let it manifest inside of you you start believing that mm -hmm. and I think that in my journey I just kept working I kept working and working and, and I prayed and I kept working and I kept praying and I kept working. And I said, you know what? One day I'm going to be in a position where I have serious people in my life, you know, and it happened randomly, weird, a phone call out of nowhere. And it's so crazy because people always, it's, it's funny just because it's that I got a phone call and I was sitting at home. <laughs> <laughs> and I and I answered the phone and it was like, hey, so I have an opportunity for you. It could change your life and blah blah blah. And then next year or so, year and a half, I had a top twelve record on Billboard. So I just kept working, yeah. and until until I got to someone who believed in me, because it only it doesn't take a lot of people. People cannot like you. People, you know, it's cool. But if you have one person who really believes and is ready to go the extra mile with you and support you, there's no limit to, to what you could do or how far you could go. Oh my gosh, that's so inspiring. You seem like you have an incredible work ethic. So congrats to you, all of you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm still working. I feel yeah. like I'm working harder with this <laughs> quarantine. I'm like, I'm working more than that. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know like you said being um creative musically i feel like music is something that is definitely very therapeutic for people so i'm really glad that you put your music you're not just trying to put content but you're, you're all into your music i mean that's the best music to me and i'm sure everyone watching would agree yes yes i totally agree it's it's got to be relatable and it's got to be real and it's got to come from a real place because yeah. people want they want to, you, your job, I feel like an artist's job is to tell the stories and say the things that people 
can't really say. I think that the artist's job is to really, really expose those emotions because some people aren't really vulnerable. They don't want to be vulnerable, but they listen to vulnerable music. Yeah. So I feel like we're, we have the luxury of crying and complaining and, and talking bad. And, right. And, and y'all just say, I need you. And the people just be like, I need you to hear a song. I want to play a song for you. This, this, <laughs> this is dedicated to you. Yeah. <laughs> like this song was everything and you feel it in your whole heart and your whole soul and everything. I've had right. her, like the songs that you send to your friends, like this one's for you. <laughs> Right, right. That's my job. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, so, so awesome. So are you in the mood to sing for us? I know it's kind of like on the spot. You can say no if you don't feel comfortable. Um, I could sing something. Oh, um, you can? Yes. Yeah, I could sing a little something. I'm fine with that. Um, let me see. I guess I'll sing uh, Act Out. Mm -hmm. I got some issues. I'll admit it, I ain't perfect. Oh, you, oh, you don't assume purpose. Say you're busy, I assume that you ain't working. I've been feeling like there's more under the surface. I got my wallet when you call it, boy, I'm guarded. I'm so guarded. You leave me broken hearted. All I want is a nigga who's all right for me. But a nigga like you won't even try for me. I'm a ride or die bunny when you cry for me. Who gon' clown for me? You gon' make me pull up with my girls in the ears. Trying to talk to me, I'll come, but I'm good. Got me all wrong, and you know that you shouldn't. Know that you shouldn't, yeah. Play with my emotions, if I should rule it. You hurt my feelings, you catch a bullet. I wasn't looking, I was with you, yeah. You gon' make me act out, yeah. <laughs> oh, fire, sis, yes! Can we give her some claps right now? That was super dope. I am so sorry, my headphones keep falling out of my ears. I can still hear me. <laughs> can you still hear me? I can, I really oh. can. Yeah, I can. It's, it was just breaking up here and there, but I can definitely still hear you. Okay, cool. I'm happy. Yes to the tech gods. And yes to you. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate it. Now, please tell everyone where they can follow you on social media. When is the album coming out? Where we can find it? And where we can just find you? Um, the album, I'm actually finishing uh, adding a couple things. Um, I have some new dope producers joining the project. So I'm excited about it. Yeah. So, it is going to be coming out probably this summer. I'm looking at this summer. Okay. Hopefully, you know, Miss Rona, she go on. Go on. <laughs> we, we can have a, the end of the summer or something at least. But around the summer, uh, Move Ring will be available. I have a single dropping the first week of June. Nice. It's going to be called Grimy. So that's the next That's the next mood on the Move Ring. Okay. Yeah, grimy. Grimy. Yes. Love that. Love that. Love that. And then um, all things social media, the same handle? Um, yeah, my handle is, yeah, at Porcelain Music, or I can, you know, uh, make a comment in the comment section, and okay. people can follow me, and I will make a comment. People can follow me and check out my music and know when the release is, so they'll be able to hear it, see all the dope little visuals, and yeah. Yes, amazing. Also, shout out to Raphael and I. And thank you. Thank you both for making this happen for Pop Kitchen. And of course, a pleasure speaking with you. Please stay out there and come back anytime. I will. Thank you. I had a good time. I enjoyed you. <laughs> stay safe, love. Take care. And you too. Bye. Bye. <laughs> So guys, that was Porcelain. She was doing, she gave us a dope little mini concert. Blessed us with that voice. She seems like she's such a down to earth Tennessee girl and we're so grateful to have her. So again, I'm Francesca Lana. You're watching Pop Freeze in the Talk Show. Tune in every Friday at 4.30 on Comcast. I will see you guys next time. Bye.